everybody. John with One Over Outdoors. Um, thank you. First off, thank you so much for all the love and support y'all shown me on the uh, YouTube, Vimeo, on the Roku, the Outdoor Adventure Channel. Uh, it's overwhelming all the love and support everybody's shown me. Um, so this is just going to be a quick video. So the other night I did a video using these lights here. And the link to the lights that I use are in the description on the video. Uh, you get them off Amazon, $15. I've had a bunch of people ask me questions about them. Can you get more expensive lights? Yes, you can. Do you need to? No, you don't. These are 1100 lumens. They've got a 20 foot cord. The thing about them, even though they are cheaper, as with anything that's gonna be in water, you need to seal it. And so what I did when I got these was I took a can of Flex Seal. You can take any kind of regular silicone and heat, you know, any kind of sealant. You know, it's going to be waterproof. And basically what I did was this cap comes off the end here. And I pulled it off. I squirted a bunch of Flex Seal sealant in there. I squirted some in the cap itself, pushed it back on, then sealed around it and smoothed it off. I did the same up at the top, except I didn't take this off. I just sealed around it very good, and then I sealed where the cord goes in. Uh, that's You basically want to seal anywhere that water can get in this, because whether you go out and you spend $15 on them, or you go out and spend 100 bucks on them, or however much the expensive ones cost, you got to seal them. I mean, they're going to be down in water, and the deeper you drop them, these got a 20-foot cord, the deeper you drop them, the more pressure that's going to be on the light, therefore pushing, trying to push water into spots that, you know, that are, that are weak spots on the lights themselves. So, these aren't glass. These are kind of like a, they feel like a plexiglass or, or just a just plastic tube, but definitely want to seal these lights. Um, but just a quick tip with using these, they're $15 off Amazon. I mean, 30 bucks, I got two lights, and you see what they do in the video. So, And another quick tip with the lights, um, do you drag with them? Yes, you can drag with them. That's what we were doing the other night uh, until we had a surprise visitor. <laughs> and we turned them off because I didn't want the lights to get destroyed. But when you use these, basically we were running out of options the other night. Uh, where you've seen me pull down at low falls, it's really, really shallow. And getting across that flat's even harder. It's, all, it's normally like going across there is like two and a half foot anyways. Well, it's way down now, so it's only a matter of inches deep getting across there. And I didn't want to risk that hitting stumps at night and tearing up my stuff. But, yeah, you can pull at night with these. Um, but so what we did was uh, just tied on to one of the no-wake zones, just put a slip loop over it and let it drift back drop the lights down i think we dropped one at three foot we were fishing at seven foot uh one was about three foot three or four foot and the other one was about two foot down and you can just watch the fish come in on the fish finder i mean it's crazy you just watch them come in and sometimes it takes 15 minutes sometimes you want to sit there an hour but once the bait starts coming in the big fish will will be be in is also uh being around that light so but yeah just a quick tip with these lights they work great they're amazing we used to catfish with the just the white styrofoam lights but yeah pick these up fifteen dollars on amazon and uh they work good but thanks for watching and god bless